I just paid $200 a month to use Cursor's Ultra Plan, and these are my thoughts on it and whether or not it's the right AI coding experience for you. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to say, like, look, I'm not an AI expert. I'm just a random dude that likes to build apps. I'm a serial app builder that's built over 14 different apps in the past five years. And I just like to make videos on the internet documenting my coding experience, my building experience. So do not take what I say as the absolute truth. This is just my personal experience, and I really do believe that coding with AI models and interacting with LLMs in general is a very personal experience. You got to find the one that is right for you. So yeah, don't flame me too hard in the comments if you think I'm a total idiot. Or if you do think I'm an idiot and you do want to roast me, at least like make it funny and creative, okay? All right, now let's get into the real meat and potatoes of the video. So just for a little bit of context about myself personally, I was a diehard cursor user for like a year or so. Then roughly a month or two ago, I switched over to using Claude code because I wanted to get the most like unlimited usage of Claude's Opus 4 model, which is in my opinion, the best coding model out there. And then also while I switched over to Claude code, cursor got into a lot of negative press about changing their pricing model and imposing much stricter and severe rate limits on their users to accessing certain premier models. So to try and combat that, Cursor released their $200 a month ultra plan, which is to provide you with the utmost maximum usage across all of the frontier models that they offer. Note that it's not unlimited usage, just the highest amount of usage. I believe somewhere in their docs, they quote, at least at the time of filming this video of July, 2025, they say something along the lines of like 4,500 OpenAI 03 requests, 11,000 Gemini 2.5 Pro requests, which is a lot. That's a lot of requests to be made. And Cursor also specifically mentions, once again, at the time of filming this video, that all Ultra users at minimum get around $400 a month of API usage for just paying $200 a month. So you hear that, my brain goes, ooh, that's a pretty good deal. I pay $200 a month and I get $400 a month of usage. What a steal. But there are certain caveats to that because the way that they calculate usage is, I believe, through a token model and certain models will consume more tokens than others. And for myself personally, I wanna use my favorite model, which is the Claude Opus 4 model. And to really put this to the test, I did the Claude Opus 4 Max Thinking Model, which is basically the most expensive model out there that takes up the most amount of tokens. And Cursor even warns you, heads up, this can be a very, very expensive model. It takes up a lot of tokens, but I said, fuck it, let's try it out and let's see how it goes. And I used Cursor with Claude Opus 4 Max thinking mode for one week straight. And after one week, I got a warning saying, hey, just a heads up, if you continue your usage patterns like this, we are expecting you to be rate limited within the next week. So that will be two weeks of usage and then I'll hit a rate limit. While we're talking about cursor and its AI IDEs, maybe IDEs aren't really your thing. Maybe you prefer the speed and the control of the command line, which is where tools like Claude Code live. But if you want something even more powerful with AI agents, built-in code editor, and full terminal access, then check out Warp, the sponsor of today's video. They just released a brand new agent to code experience and its agentic coding experience is rated number one on the bench and in the top five on the SWE verified bench, making this the highest composite score out of any agentic programming experience, proving that it is one of the best AI agentic coding experiences out right now. Warp uses a command line interface instead of a classic IDE interface and the reason why is pretty smart. The command line can operate at the lowest level of your operating system and in the age where coding by hand is kind of dying, you no longer need two thirds of your screen cluttered with an editor. Instead, Warp is engineered for a new age of coding, coding by prompt. It has built-in support for running multiple agents at once so you can have your own literal army of engineers making various code changes for you and you can monitor their progress via a dedicated agent management panel. This is huge because when you're building your own apps you're usually juggling multiple tasks at once, deploying to different environments, running tests, managing databases, and having multiple AI agents handle these simultaneously is a game changer. Even better is the fact that within Warp you actually have the ability to choose which LLM you want to perform certain tasks. I'm really a firm believer that picking the right LLM is a very personal experience experience because what works great for one person isn't necessarily guaranteed to work great for you. You really have to test out the various LLMs to see which one works best with your communication style and which one is integrated best into your own personal workflow. They also have a new light speed plan for people that code every single day with AI, which gives 50,000 AI requests per month with top models, including Sonnet, Opus, Gemini 2.5, and even GPT-5. It is the most generous $200 plan on the market. If you want to try out Warp Pro for only $5 for your first month, then use this code right here, which I will also include in the description. And I think that actually boils down to the core problem that I think Cursor will always have moving forward. At the end of the day, Cursor, for it to be a successful company and to make money, their biggest cost is always going to be the LLM models. Because they don't have their own foundational model, they will always have to pay a price that will still allow the foundational model provider like OpenAI or Anthropic to make some money off of their API costs. Even though I'm sure OpenAI and Anthropic will still subsidize the cost a heavy amount and provide Cursor with a heavy discount just due to their insane volume of usage, at the end of the day, OpenAI 
OpenAI and Claude or Gemini, they will still need to make some money off of the API that they let Cursor to use. So unless Cursor comes out with their own foundational model, which I'm not gonna put it past them, I'm sure that they can do that. And I'm honestly sure that they're working on that right now. But at least at the time of filming this video is, which is July, 2025, that's gonna be a problem that Cursor is gonna continue to have. And for myself, because I'm a little bit more opinionated about wanting to use Claude Opus 4, and I really wanted to use that model, I did find my Cursor experience severely more limited because of that. And while I was using Opus 4 within Cursor, I was always a little bit stressed out, like constantly checking my usage, like making sure like, oh, I'm not going over, like how much did I use? Like, oh, am I still okay? I don't wanna get charged more because I'm already paying $200 a month. So maybe this isn't a problem for people that make a ton of money and are not cost conscious at all, but uh, your boy is not a rich man. I am still a little cost conscious about that kind of stuff. So I made sure to monitor my usage to make sure I wasn't incurring any overage fees. But I do wanna provide a counterpoint saying like, yes, while I do personally like Claude Opus 4, and I do think at least for myself personally, it's the best coding model out there. But I do believe that if you just use one of the other models that Cursor has, such as OpenAI 03 or Gemini 2.5 Pro, you are still going to be able to get like 80 to 90% of the performance that Claude Opus 4 provides you. And by using these other, a little bit more affordable models, you can get way more usage out of Cursor as well. And I also believe that Cursor has significant advantages over just Claude code as well. With Cursor, you get a much, in my opinion, better UI UX experience because you get an entire coding IDE package with a chat experience being tied in directly into the editor. You get access to kicking off background agents from their web dashboard or their mobile web dashboard, which is a crazy feature on its own because even if you're just like out and about and you're not next to your laptop and you get a critical bug, you can straight up just prompt an agent to start fixing that bug from your phone and just solve it from there, which is insane. And you also get integration within Slack so that you can tell Cursor from within Slack to start building something out based on Slack thread context history. So you get a lot of other features within Cursor and I think Cursor is a much more complete end-to-end -end developer experience that gives you a lot more bells and whistles in terms of coding from anywhere at any time at any place. And I think Claude Code is a much worse user experience because it lives in the terminal rather than having its own dedicated app. And at least at the time of this video, Claude Code also has significantly less bells and whistles that Cursor provides. They don't have like a web dashboard where I can start kicking off background agents. But Claude Code did recently just release a GitHub integration that will automatically review code for you, review your PRs, and then you can tell Claude Code to make changes and iterate from directly within your PR as well, which is great. But at the end of the day, at least as of right now, Claude Code is still, in my opinion, a much less complete end-to-end -end AI developer experience with a lot less bells and whistles. And instead with Claude Code, what you're paying for is just the most access to one of the best programming models out there. Whereas with Cursor, what you're really directly paying for is a complete end-to-end -end dev experience. Here are my general concluding thoughts on whether you should use Cursor or Claude Code for your AI coding experience. If you're really not that particular about which coding model you wanna use and you wanna switch around, play around with different models, Cursor is the one for you. If you're somebody that's always working on five or 10 different tasks and different PRs at a time, then once again, I think Cursor is the best one for you. You have background agents, you can kick off work from within your phone, from a website, from within Cursor directly. There's a lot more places with Cursor to start your coding journey and start working on different tickets. But on the other hand, if you're someone that is just obsessed with Claude Opus 4 and you know that that is the only model I wanna use, I'm a diehard Anthropic user, Claude Code is the best choice for you, no question there. But then on the flip side, if you're somebody that wants like truly, at least in my opinion, the best of the best coding model, and really you should only use Claude Code if you're somebody that is diehard wanting to use Claude Opus 4, you just wanna use Claude models and that's it, and you don't really care about starting a background job and stuff like that, then Claude Code is probably the best one for you. And for me, at least at the time of filming this video, I'm gonna be sticking with Claude Code because I don't ever use background agents. I'm never really the type of person to be working on like five or six different tasks at once, so I don't really have a need for it. And I'm personally okay only being able to code with AI from my laptop because A, I'm always in front of my laptop, and B, I'm okay doing that as well if I'm able to just get the most unlimited usage from Claude Opus 4 via Claude Code. So that is my quick overview on Cursor's $200 a month ultra plan versus Claude's $200 20x max plan. Let me know what you think. What are you gonna go forward with? You're gonna stick with Cursor? You like Claude Code? Let me know in the comments down below what you think. But that is it for today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.